Hey guys, my name is Ben and so welcome to Blue Week Tattoo Channel. I'm here to do another Disney movie review series. Welcome to episode 5. We're going to talk about my most highly anticipated film of 2016. It is Pixar. It is directed by Andrew Sennett. And we're going to talk about Finding Dory. Finding Dory is basically about take place one year later the, after the events of Finding Nemo. Well, we got suspicious about Dory that's think she's thinking about her memories about her her parents I've seen in the trailers and she's going to adventure find her parents. That's all I can say about the, the whole plot synopsis of the film, because I don't want to spoil it. Spoil it for you. Um basically I was the only teenager watching this movie. Good for me. Um yeah, basically I was curious and excited about this movie because I love Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo is the reason why I got into movies. And Finding Nemo was my very first movie I ever saw. I, mean, I was two, two or three years old. And it's my first theater experience I ever been. Because I've never been to theaters when I was younger. And Finding Nemo is a very... It will be always be in a special place in my heart. When this movie came on, um, before we talk about the movie Finding Dory, I will talk about the short um, called Piper, I believe, Piper. Adorable. The short alone is very adorable and cute and filled with your stick and just the detail of the feather of the bird is just so detailed so it's, it's just beautiful it's just wonderful I adore that short and it's a great short if you're gonna be late seeing Finding Dory do not miss the short so moving on now we can talk about Finding Dory um Finding Dory what did you think of it what's my over thoughts of this movie I thought it was good not great not perfect Good. It's a really good movie. I do really enjoy this movie. Um, it kicked my nostalgic uh, moments in there because Finding Nemo is my childhood, my ultimate childhood. Um, it's great seeing these characters again, Marlin, Nemo, and Dory. Um, it's good to see Mr. Way back. I mean, it's a fantastic, it's fantastic to see them again, including the original voice cast, um, Angie Dean Generous, and Albert Brooks came back watching this, the characters again. And I thought Ellen killed it at Dory. I mean, she um, makes us feel that we care about Dory. And she makes us feel happy. And just overall, the worst work with um, Ellen as Dory is beautiful. It's perfect. Because um, Ellen, um, if you've seen the show, Ellen, she's been waiting for this sequel for around, like, what, 10 years? 15 years? Or 12 years, something like that. It's crazy. And the chick was finally happening. Where's my incredible chill? Come on, check it out. Work on it right now. Um, fantastic seeing the voice, um, the character. We got the new characters. Um, probably my favorite character, my favorite new characters is Hank, the octopus. Um, I forgot who the voice, I believe he was from the modern family. I'm not correct. But he was fantastic. I mean, I love the chemistry between Dory and Hank, the adventure they're going on in the whole movie. Fantastic on um, chemistry. Um, the chemistry between Marlin and Dory is still there, and it's just great to see. The animation is just drop dead gorgeous. I mean, beautiful, beautiful. It is a much better animation than the Finding Nemo, because Finding Nemo is back 2003, where technology is not really advanced just yet. It still looks good, but Finding Dory is, looks much better because we're in the year 2016, so the, the animation is gonna look so much better. I mean, come on. And I cannot wait to on a Blu-ray to see what the picture quality on it. And it's just, the story was good. The adventure is good. We got laughs, hearts, adventure. Um, so many great things. You got the feel, the feels, all that stuff that Pixar do. And Pixar is so good. Manipulating us, being teared and teared up. Makes us cry. Pixar, I love you for that reason because you cared about us you care to entertain us that's what I love about Pixar and I love John Lasseter he's my hero next to Josh Whedon and Steven Spielberg yes John Lasseter is my favorite one day I'm gonna meet, I'm gonna meet him so badly I mean I wanna meet him I wanna interview him I wanna talk about Pixar with him one day that'd be so cool and I'll be kicking out all the way about Anything to do with talk about um, Pixar movies, minus Cars 1 and 2. Um, this is a good movie, not great. 
Um, my only problem is it dragged a little bit in the middle of the um, second act. But overall, it's still a good movie. It's still a fun movie. If you're a big animation fan, if you're a big Disney Pixar fan, of course you have to see this movie. Come on. Um, if you have a, a, a good memory about Finding Nemo, check it out. This check this movie out. Um, it's great for families. It's great to see them. I saw it on Thursday because I'm the only teenager watching this movie. This is why I don't have a girlfriend yet. Um, yeah, it's like it's great. I'm still a Disney fan. Seriously, I'm still. I'm never gonna get over Disney. Never. Ever. I'm never gonna stop loving Disney because I am gonna love Disney forever till I die. Because I love going to Disney World. I love seeing Pixar movies. I love seeing, seeing Di um, Disney animation movies because those movies makes me happy. It makes me feel alive. When I'm bored or sad or alone, I watch Disney movies because they make me happy. Um, just for a lot of reasons. I mean, they have heart, laughs characters, stories, I mean, there's a lot of things you can care about, about this Pixar, um, you know, world that John Master created. Um, love Funny Dory, I still love the movie, but it's still a good, it's, it's a good, it's a good movie, I, it's, it's a fun movie, it's really laugh out loud, there's a lot of laugh out loud moments, including Hank, I love that character, Hank, and we got, um, the whale shark, and the, I believe, um, I forgot the other whale thingy, I forgot, uh, they're both great, I mean you meet a lot, a lot of new characters, um, supporting characters, including Idris Elba, who is the voice of Sea Lion, I didn't know that, that's awesome, it's great to hear him, uh, he from, now he, Mr. Burger from Zootopia, now a Sea Lion from Finding Dory, that's awesome, Idris Elba, keep doing the voice work, Shere Khan, um, Mr. Burger, now Sea Lion, Awesome, Idris. Keep, keep doing, man. I mean, lo I love your work. Um, Idris Elba is becoming one of your actors. Love him. Yeah, I seen the Jungle Book. He was fantastic in that movie. Um, playing Shere Khan, the nameless villain. Um, I feel like he had fun. I feel like all the actors from the voice works are having fun making this movie. And just, it's great seeing um, the same director who did Bunny Nemo coming back for this project. And he made it happen. And right here. Um, I cannot wait for the cannot wait for the Incredible Two. Brad Bird coming back directing, fantastic. Um, cannot wait to see the other Pixar movies coming out later in the future. I know Toy Story Four can come out. I know Cars Three. Uh, Incredible Two is coming out. There's a new one, Coco, and a lot more Pixar movies have been planned. Cannot wait for them. And they're not gonna die it out. I mean, they're gonna keep doing this for for the future till I'm old. Okay, the Pixar make me happy. Okay, they cherish me. They make me happy. They make me feel safe. And I love Pixar and Disney. I love you guys. Do not go. Do not die out, please. Um, I give this movie an eight point five out of ten stars. This is a great fun movie for family or friends or whatever you're gonna go with or you date whatever. God, I'm still single. Okay, moving on. Don't worry about that. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm single, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm a nerd. I'm a geek. I don't care. Finding Dory is all, ma all that matters. I give this movie, once again, a 7 out um, no, 8.5 out of 10 stars. My bad. And I hope you watch this movie. Go out, see this movie with your family, friends, something like that. And comment below the theme of the movie. I think I forgot about something. A very special announcement. Um. The other announcement is my cartoon um, corner series. Um, please, please support that series. Link below. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the first episode called Trope Anger Man. Uh, the, the, the cartoon corner Trope Anger Man. I talk about cartoon titles. Um, the other announcement is I finished my very first script, my very first screenplay. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what what it's all about because it's very special. Um, I'm only gonna tell you the what's the title. The title is called Detention, and I'm so happy. Um, here it is. Right there, yeah, yeah, right there. Um, I'm hoping to shoot this um, short film by next summer, not this summer, next summer, because I just finished re revised, re um, re-editing of the script. 
I'm happy about it. This is my masterpiece. I'm hoping to make this short film really, really shortly. I don't know when, but I have to cast. I have to find cast. I know my fans gonna work with me, with me but um, I need to tell the principal, like, can I use the library? Because this takes place in the library. And yeah, I'm hoping I can make this short film. Um, I'm inspired. I want to make films. That's what I want to do in my life. One day I'm going to go to LA, move there, be a director, or someday I will win an Oscar. That's just my dreams, okay? But I'm happy I finished my very first script, my very first screenplay. I'm so happy. I'm so cherished. Um, that's my goal in summer. Finish the, finish the script. And here you go. I finished the script. And yeah, I mean, I'm hoping I can make this short film. Maybe next summer I'm going to shoot one, shoot this short film. I have to find a casting, I have to find a permission for using the school, but it takes time, it process. So that's all the my announcement. Please support the Cartoon Corner um, series. Um, I'm all thus far. I have episode one. Link below if you want to see it or check it out. If you're curious, please comment below what you think of my series of the Cartoon Corner, and I'll see you guys next time.